Today is vaccination day. Vaccination day. Woo woo. We're going to get our first COVID-19 vaccine. Yeah. Here, when you do it so low, I have to crouch all the way down. You hold it. So I think we're going to get the Pfizer one. Um, that's my understanding. It wasn't entirely clear on the website, but that seems to be the best interpretation. That's so. what they had up until Sunday. And we haven't seen anything changing that. The site we selected is actually like a half hour from here, so we're gonna head out pretty soon. And then I guess 21 days later, we'll return and get the second one, but I think Francisco's excited. I think we're still both a little trepidatious. Yeah, it's a little nerve-making. Nerve-wracking? Uh, no, I wouldn't say I don't wanna go far as say racking. It just okay. makes some nerves. But, but yeah. seems to be the best course of action at this point. Definitely the most prudent. And Francisco keeps making fun of me. Cause look how fancy she is. Oh, I'm gonna be on oh, yeah. She hasn't been this fancy in like a year. Cause I'm wearing like my work clothes, which is not an outfit I've worn in a really long time. But like I'm going out, it's a work day. And the gun thing. Very pretty. There, let me keep an eye out if you see any signs for- We need to, to check the, the address. There's a bunch of numbers yeah. here. Is it snowing? Why is it snowing? Yeah. <laughs> it's current or building 3145 Good come. call! They should. Why did it say 3125 in the appointment? Maybe just because it's the main building? Yeah. What was it? That sign said 3145? Yeah, it's right over there. I saw it. My text specifically says there that. There you go, vaccine parking. parking. Why don't I have that over there? Before you can go into the main lobby. I mean, I feel like everyone's just scrambling to get yeah, this together. No, That's the building over there. It's snowing. Look at the ground, it's guys. Snowing. Look it's at crazy. all the snow. April 1st. Vaccine parking over this way. Oh, good. We get to go in over here. This is by appointment only. Masks required. Yes. And what time was your appointment? Uh, 10. And what's your names? We are. Are you guys both able to come back on April 22nd for your second vaccine? Yes. All right. We're going to send you down to the lower level and then somebody will be there to greet you and let you know what your next step is. Okay. okay. I haven't seen much of you in a mask. Mm -hmm. I haven't got too much of you in a mask. Not a ton. I'm not used to it like any other people. Hello. Hi. Hi there. Can you just come this way to get registered? Okay. Okay, one of you can come to the first desk to get signed in. Yeah. And then you can go to the second desk here and get signed in. Okay, thank you. Hello, how are you? Very good, how are you? And what time is your appointment? Uh, 10. Last name? Uh, Lopez. All right, just verify your address and phone number for me. All right, do you have your photo ID on you? I do. I need four signatures. Okay. The first one is our physician consent form. Next one's giving us consent to bill your insurance. Third one's our HIPAA Privacy Act. This fourth one is our COVID vaccination consent form. And then I'm going to get your now, second dose scheduled for you, okay? Okay. And you will be getting Pfizer today also. Okay. And April 22nd would be your second dose date. Okay. And uh, 9 a.m., is that okay? To yeah, come back? Fine. Just make sure you bring this card back with you. It does have your second dose date and time on the back of it. And this here is just a packet of information about the Pfizer vaccination, okay? And I'm going to send you right down that hallway where it says step two. Okay. You have a good one. How many over there? Uh, nine. Nine. Hi. Hi there. All right, honey, down this hallway here, hang on left, and then somebody will meet you at the doorway. Just kind of hang out by the doorway, okay? okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Very good. How are you? Just a second. How are you doing? Are you ready for one? Okay. Tammy can take you in here. Enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> Hi there, very good, how are you? Good, over here, baby. Okay, okay. 
name and birthday blame. And we're going to be receiving the Pfizer vaccine today. Okay, left or right arm? I don't care. Left is fine. Okay. Have you had any other vaccinations in the last two weeks? No. Are you allergic to polyethylene glycol? No. Do you have a fever? No. Any severe allergic reactions to any medications or food? Mm -hmm. Do you have a bleeding disorder? No. Or take blood thinners? No. Nope. Have you had the COVID-19 infection? No. Okay. Sorry to take my shirt off? Yep. Okay, so <laughs> we just got our vaccine. It just it'll take me a second to okay. get it off. So, how did you like it? <laughs> it went fine. I was very impressed with their like wayfinding and everything. There was someone stationed everywhere to, to tell you where to go, and it was very clearly signed. And um, it seemed like a very efficient and organized process, which is always reassuring. I can't think how much it's snowing. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like a little off. But Hard to tell how much of that is like the anxiety mental. of doing it, yeah. yeah, and like you know making up symptoms. Cause I feel the same way. But it was also just a stressful thing. Just and honest. honestly, like wasn't painful at all. I feel like when I got the flu shot, it felt worse. Like yeah. the shot itself was fine. Yeah, the needle was like legit. I didn't look at the like, needle that though. long. It might have hurt more if I looked. So. Yeah, I was I was surprised at how long it was. The setup was really good. Someone was like literally at like every step helping direct you to where to go. Yeah. Um, so it went super smooth. Then you have to sit there for 15 minutes afterwards just to make sure you don't have an adverse reaction there. I think that's mostly if you have like any problems like breathing. A handy little post-it so you knew what time you were clear to leave. Yeah. So overall it was good. Now we're going to head back home and uh, well I'm going to go home. Francisco is going to go to work. And yeah, we'll see. This is the first one, so that one's supposed to be not too bad um, with the reactions. I've heard the second one, you might have, like, you know, maybe a little bit of a fever, more um, just lethargy and stuff. So, we'll yeah. see. We'll see if you can see how much it's snowing. Or the mirror. Yeah, I got all covered. It's just covered with snow. And the sun's coming out a little bit, but there's too much water on the glass. I don't think it Do you see the snow? Well. I can see the snow. It's snowing a fair bit. You can see it with your human eyes. Yeah. Can you see the snow coming down in spring and April, April Fool's Day? So we're home, uh, mostly recuperating from our first shot of vaccine uh, and decided that might as well run out and get some donuts. So this is Holtman's, um, it's one of uh, Cincinnati's like iconic donut places. And this is a donut croissant, this is a Buckeye donut, an Oreo donut, uh, strawberry jelly filled specifically for Tabitha. Uh, this one was just pretty. And then this is a sour cream old fashioned. This is our uh, mini Holtman's haul. And probably our goodbye to Holtman's. Francisco just got home. We're gonna have our farewell to Keystone meal. Uh, this is a popular macaroni and cheese place here. So this is the Love and Spoonful. And then their fries have always been pretty good, so we got those. And then they also now have an Impossible Burger, which we have not tried from here before. Um, nice to see more and more places getting Impossible Burgers on their menu. Yeah. So looking forward to trying that. Yeah, I think we've always enjoyed Keystone. I'm stuck waiting for you to <laughs> I know. I'm gonna drag. <laughs> I'm gonna drag out your torture. Got everything pointed out. Fries, mac and cheese. And here's my Impossible Burger. Good morning. Today is Pfizer vaccine number two day. Uh, so I'm just waiting for Francisco and then we're gonna head out and we again have like a half hour drive to the site where we are getting um, our vaccine. Sorry, I'm just trying to mine some pie. Uh, my brother introduced me to this pie thing which is one of those like cryptocurrency things. Um, so I have to like push this button every day to earn some pie, which may eventually be worth some money. We'll find out. Um, but yeah, so once Francisco gets up, we are going to head out and I don't know, I'm a little nervous about this one. I've heard people can have some, um, pretty strong reactions. So we'll see. I did again, put on some work clothes. Let me show you my outfit of the day. I'll just back all the way up here. Uh, but yeah, I do kind of just miss wearing work clothes a little bit. So since I'm going out, it's weekday and during business hours, just embracing that. 
Buzzard, are you ready? Yes, you put those on. Why are you putting me? <laughs> you look funny. Francisco's having allergies today. Can't take any medicine. You're not supposed to take any medicine prior to getting the vaccine. Um, I had a little bit of a headache and I've been paranoid I would get one, but mine's not too bad. I think that's what specifically say to not take antihistamines. Same for yeah. ibuprofen and stuff. Are you nervous? No. You wanna just talk later? I'm not nervous. Okay, Buzz, so are you excited then since you're not nervous? Yeah, I'm really excited to get this to be vaccinated. That's exciting. Yeah, it'd be good to get it over with and just deal with any side effects this weekend and then feel a little bit safer being in the world. Yeah, it'll be definitely nice to have that. I'm sure it'll still be stressful as long as this is still a thing, but having that, that kind of safety blanket there, I think will help a lot. Okay, we're pulling up for vaccine number two. Sunshine in today, no snow. Not as much snow yesterday. Get you registered. Okay. Can we begin with your last name first? Uh, Lopez. What time is your appointment, sir? Uh, nine. You're going to visit that tomorrow. Please step two, and they'll be happy to take care of you. Thank you. Hi. Hi there. You are in a cold one. I'll take it. All right. Send you right with Chris. Any reactions to the first shot? Uh, no. That's good. Slight headache was about it. Okay. So. Whatever happened the first time can happen again and, and could be more severe, according to the clinical trials. Okay. Are you aware of that? Yes. Which arm do you want to do? Which arm. Sweet. Any other vaccines in the last two weeks? No. You're currently feeling ill with a fever today? Nope. Do you take blood thinners or have a bleeding disorder? No. Have you ever had COVID-19? No. Have you ever had a severe allergic reaction to any medicines, foods, or environmental allergens? No. Uh, with the 15 minute observation, so I'm done giving you your shot, okay? Okay. Right, we are done with our vaccine. We're vaccinated. Heading back home. Um, and I think we both thought this vaccine was more painful than the first one. Like the first shot was painless. And this one, definitely you felt it going in, yeah. right? I don't know if they just got different bore needles or what, but this one hurt. So, I don't know, I've been moving my arm a little bit. Like she asked if I had any reaction to the first vaccine and I said, you know, I had a headache for like three days, but I'm prone to headaches, so I don't know, but she definitely remarked that this vaccine is known to, the second vaccine is known to give worse side effects. It's like, yeah, I'm prepared for that, so. We got all kinds of snacks. That's mostly what we prepared. We're just going to step our faces. We also got better. Tylenol, generic Tylenol, in case we do get a fever or something. It's, I guess that's not uncommon. Yeah. I mean, hopefully it's fine and we are okay. Yeah. But we'll see. Poor book there. This is half of this temperature, 99.7. And we both tend to run colder, so this is kind of even more off of the norm than you would normally expect. So, she's having a rough go of it after our vaccination. We're leaning into our post-COVID vaccine laziness and going to indulge in some movie snacks. We have a bunch of other backup snacks pulled up if we need them. And we're going to watch Tenet. How are you doing with your shot? You're not having no headaches or nothing? Not anymore. You did develop a headache after the, shot, after the second shot? I had a headache more after the first shot. This shot just had other side effects. So I got it on... Thursday, Thursday at 9 a.m. The shot itself definitely hurt worse than the first one. Like, I definitely felt it. But, like, I didn't have a headache. Like, I felt fine all day until we went to bed. Like, I just, I got up to go to the bathroom at one point, and when I got back in bed, I could not get warm again. So I was just shivering, and I put my socks back on, and then I put my heating pad on, and, um, like, finally warmed up, and then... Uh, like, so I woke up, I felt fine, so I took off the heating pad because I was, I was comfortable, like I wasn't too warm or anything. But then, like, 
the next time I woke up, I was just drenched in sweat. So my body was definitely like struggling to regulate itself. Then the next day, like it was definitely just some more like shivering in the morning. And then I started getting hot again. I had a slight fever and then I had a lymph node that got swollen. But by like Saturday, I was mostly fine. Like just still some lingering fatigue and just a swollen lymph node, but by Sunday, most of that had completely resolved. Well, you get all them, don't you? Well, it's because I'm younger and I have a strong immune system that's definitely yeah, fighting right. that. Your immune system was fighting a foreign d disease that they put in your body. Well, no, it, they didn't put the virus in your body. You're, you're, you're no, they introducing put a dead virus. the... No, it's not a dead virus. Well, whatever it is, that's just telling you you got a strong immune system to take care of it.